Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but I just came in from watering the garden and realized that I never made an intro for this video. So, my videos are going to be a little bit out of order. Well, this one will be. Because, in today's video I wanted to show you guys something that a company sent to me. They sent me this cool camera for Tucker's birthday. Just for him, it's a kid's camera, and he had been wanting one, so that was really cool. So I'm going to share that with you guys, and then we'll get into the day's adventures. We had so much fun. We went on a little outing. We went to Austin, and we did some fun stuff. So let me show you that real quick, and then we'll get to the rest of the video. And then Tucker's birthday video will be coming up soon, too. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so here's the camera that was sent to me. I thought this was really cool. It's marketed towards kids because it's simple to use. It has all the usual features you'd look for in a camera. It's 1080p, it has power zoom and face detection and anti-shake technology, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. So whatever your kid's favorite color is, you can probably get that for them. So when they contacted me, I was super excited because it was almost Tucker's birthday and he had been wanting a camera and I knew he would love this. So this has a 16 times zoom, it's 48 megapixels, comes with a wrist strap, that way nobody's dropping cameras and breaking them while they're walking around with them. Trust me, I have two boys and at seven years old, they're clumsy. All of the buttons and features are super easy to use. There's a timer, the zoom, you can easily switch back and forth between video and camera and also go to look at your pictures and videos and it's really easy with just the push of a button. I like that the camera is smaller in design so it's perfect for little hands and yes they did send me this camera for free but this is my honest review. Tucker's been using it for a while now and he just loves it. So this comes with everything you need to get started. It comes with a charger that you just plug into the camera and then plug into the wall or a USB outlet. It also came with a 32 gigabyte memory card as well as a memory card adapter that you can fit into your computer. And I loved this. It came with two batteries. I remember back in the day when I was into photography, you always had to have a second battery because I'm not gonna take my kid out to take pictures and then his battery dies and he's disappointed. So there's a second one to keep in the camera bag so that he can just replace it and keep taking pictures. It also comes with a manual and a cleaning cloth. So the memory card and battery are easy to install of course, like I said, I have a clumsy seven-year-old, so I go ahead and do those for him just so he doesn't break them. Any of the features he's using show up right on the screen, so it makes it really easy for him to see what he's doing. He knows if he's using the video mode or the camera mode. And one of his favorite parts is being able to play back the pictures right where he can see them. He loves just looking through all the pictures he took. And I love looking through them too because it's from the eyes of a seven-year-old and some of them are blurry and some of them are like, you can't even tell what they are. And it's so cute. And some of them are just awesome pictures. So I always have fun looking through to see what he took pictures of or watching the videos he took.
When we were on our little day trip on this day, he was having so much fun at taking pictures of everything around him. And I love watching him just kind of walk around and think of what would be a good picture and what he can get a good picture of. It's so cute to watch. But yeah, he was taking pictures of all the plants. He took a picture of me taking a picture of him. Before we went, he was taking selfies of himself. So funny, so cute. He's even been taking pictures of his stuffed animals. So yeah, he loves this thing. Definitely a great camera for little kids. So if you want to check out these cameras, you can head over to their website. Mine is the DC3 Black Edition, but they have tons to choose from, different cameras and different colors, all made for kids. So these are super cool. So make sure to head over to their website and check them out. And I'll also have more information down in the description box below. Just hit the more button under the video so you can see all of the information. So now, let's get into our fun little day trip. So Adam's vacation was coming to an end, so we decided to go have some fun on a little day trip. We packed up the car, we stopped at McDonald's for breakfast through the drive-thru. I can't remember the last time we had McDonald's breakfast. I think Garrett was teeny tiny. I might have been pregnant with Tucker, I don't know. But they had so much fun, they enjoyed that. And we're heading to Austin to head to Zilker Park and the Zilker Botanical Garden. I think that's your first ever McDonald's breakfast. What do you think? What? Yeah. McGriddles. Yum yum. But how did they put the, an M on it? McDonald's magic. This place really is beautiful. If you ever visit Austin, it's right downtown, easy to get to. You gotta check it out. It was pretty cheap as far as tickets go, and it was worth it to me. I think I came here once when I was a kid on a school field trip, but I really don't remember it. So it was all new to me too. But they just have acres of gardens, and the way they set these all up is really cool. They had like a cactus garden, and a Japanese garden, a bonsai tree garden, uh, I think there was a butterfly garden. There's an old little pioneer town. So much stuff to look at and it's so pretty. And it's up on this hill where you can see downtown from where you're standing in some parts of the garden. And it's just beautiful. It's like a little sanctuary in the city. So if you ever get a chance to check it out, I highly recommend it. I think probably all of us would agree that the Japanese garden was the best. We should have saved that for last, but we were confused where we were going, even on the map. So, there's lots of waterfalls, like water flows through the entire garden. There's stepping stones you can walk through the water, and bridges, and koi fish ponds. That was the boys' favorite part, for sure. But yeah, this place was just gorgeous.
Cute. It says do not touch. Don't touch them. They obviously like people. They like feed me. Uh, they cute. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Did you get a good picture? Whoa, that Shh. <laughs> Please don't drop that in there. Uh, look, a goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cool. The dinosaur part of the garden had a thing that talked about how when they were creating this garden, they found hundreds of dinosaur footprints, and I guess all of them have been preserved, and most of them covered up. So, they're in a museum somewhere, but they unearthed them all while they were making this, and I thought that was really cool. After the Botanical Garden, we headed to Zilker Park, which is right on Barton Creek, with the Barton Creek Spring Pool. And we didn't even think about bringing stuff to go swimming. I don't know why. We should have, because it would have been fun. But we were thinking the Zilker train was back open. It's like a little passenger train. But it's still closed for repairs or something, so we didn't get to do that. But we still had fun. The boys played on the playscape, and we checked out the springs and all of that kind of stuff and it's just a really pretty park. We had brought a picnic, but after the boys were done playing, we decided to head to Aldi. I finally got to go. 
but I didn't get to get much because the cooler was packed full of our picnic that we didn't eat in the car. Long story. But we ended up heading to P. Terry's for some burgers and fries. On the way home, we decided to take some back roads in a way we've never gone before because back roads are always better than the highway. There's just more nature to see and the boys enjoy the bumps and the hills and the, and it's just a lot prettier and you don't have to sit in traffic. So yeah, we took the back roads home and then I'm going to show you what we got at Aldi. Like I said, we didn't get much. I was hoping there'd be more room in the cooler because we would have eaten our lunch, but we didn't, we got food instead, so. Anyway, I just got some stuff that looked good, not much cold stuff. Garrett really wanted these blackberry sparkling waters, so we grabbed some of those. They both grabbed a can of Vienna sausages. I know, kind of gross, but we all like them. They really like them. They were hungry, but then we ended up going out to eat, so. I grabbed this Asian sesame dressing for, we usually make some ramen noodle cabbage salad, and I wanted to try this version instead of the craft. I've seen everyone get this dill pickle popcorn, so I grabbed that, and it's super good. Of course, we had to try the peanut butter pretzels, because we try them from every place we can find them. We got some freeze-dried strawberries. We all love these. I grabbed these cheddar and black pepper chips. I wanted the all-dressed ones, but they were out, and I was so disappointed. We grabbed some beef jerky. This is really good beef jerky, by the way. And then we grabbed some of the pizza dough that I see everybody use. And let me tell you, we've tried it, and we all loved it. So, definitely we'll have to go back for some of that in the future. Oh! And I also grabbed this little tote to keep in the car for groceries. Super cute. I love avocado things. But yeah, like I said, I didn't get much, but there's my very first and maybe my last, I don't know, Aldi haul. It's an hour away. What can I tell you? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and spending the day with me. We had so much fun on this day. It was just nice to get out into nature and have some fun. Anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And I hope you're all having a great whatever day this goes up. Hope you're having a great week. So, see you guys soon in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.